of cosmos link below the video in the description box to his online shop has posted the extended world map as you know the moon you see on the sky every day the moon that has the same face never changes is the map of the real world and this is awesome this is the world uh the part in dark blue and green this is the known world as you can see here this is africa and europe and asia and uh, north america and south america north america is very small uh comparison uh, and this is hyperborea and of course you have atlantis and lemuria which is part of the known world but you're not allowed to go there because there's no flights and no ships um, this is the closest thing you have and then the part you see in light blue and white are the uh, hidden continents or not the hidden the forbidden continent so Pangaea or Pangaea uh, this is probably where the Germans are as well uh, either on this side or on the side of South America in what we call here Galeca and Lacach uh, at the south of Lemuria and then you have this whole big huge amazing content at Pangea and, and then there's a content here in the south and check this out Lord of the Rings, Mordor, Mordor and the towers for those of you who um, and I also knew this that uh, Lord of the Rings and the books and everything that was written uh, was inspired in the reality of the real world and of course in the known world when I say the known world, I mean what we see on the moon map, because the moon is showing us this whole world. Of course, there's like more continents, but yeah, Mordor is here in the, at the edge of what we see on the moon map. Um, Mordor and the tower, quite far away, Harondor and everything else. And then, of course, there's more ocean. There's uh, some islands here, and then there's a bunch of islands here as well and uh, islands here and of course the oceans keep on going and i'm sure there's like more continents because the moon is a reflection of the black sun via electromagnetic waves and it has like a certain wavelength and it's just a limited amount so basically what happens is the same thing that nasa does uh, but nasa does it on the globe spinning in space with curved water no fantasy so vibes of cosmos has taken the moon that we see which is a reflection uh, as you know if you read the books and has extended it on a uh, 2d plane right and uh, the 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 black color or the the dark gray black is firm land continents so solid land where you can live and the white stuff is water and the oceans and you see here there's a bunch of islands here and islands and if, if you see it here he's so there's like two legends here the legend for dark blue which is in the known world uh, well, in the known world, the Hyperborea and Atlantis and Lemuria are off limits. And then the legend here with um, with the, the land which is white, which is all this land here. So yeah, that's awesome. It's just, everybody knows this. Even in the 60s, there were people who, even though they didn't uh, study enough to understand that the world is not a spinning ball with curved water, but they did say in the 60s that the moon is the mirage or the reflective inverted mirror uh, of the of the continents and the the water of the world so uh hyperborea it's here uh europe asia australia africa is huge uh this is the uk here spain uh and then atlantis is at, at west of the africa lemuria is here north america is here so you can see hyperborea and greenland look at the size of greenland 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 is so tall so so small in comparison with africa um north america south america and then these could be the thing is here these are the lands which uh, the temperature is still good so there's two possibilities the germans that went from the second world war and the operation hind jump either was like here in these lands so from north america from the united states you go in a straight line and that's a possibility so that's why they say south america and then from south america the the german mustache man and his elite went here or there's also like uh, a place here because there's a guy there's a german guy who has made a map and he placed uh, the ufos and the germans on this side so from africa on this side which is called fildania and then this is like neuschwabenland and everything else um me personally well considering the uh the the historical events and facts in the german books after the second world war i would say now after seeing vibes of cosmos that the german guy is around here uh, or the, that uh, quarter of a million Germans. There's even like something like a submarine here. Um, South Pacific Antarctic uh, ice wall. You see? South Pacific Antarctic ice wall. This is awesome. Uh, so if the Germans are around here, it makes sense because all the bases of Antarctica is in Lemuria and the Germans would be just south of Lemuria, which is our still, if you see the green stuff, 
this is still continents that have good temperature and weather and that's all also like goes well in the sense of what Admiral Byrd said and his boss um, uh, James first told that there's so much land here and of course there's more land to go this says here there's like an ice wall so this would be an ice wall and then there's a bunch of other ice wall as well um, southwest frozen Atlantic you see that's frozen stuff so if you see the other wives the cosmos maps um, if everything here is frozen and up until the area of Mordor, which would have like a new sun, then there's a bunch of frozen ice in between the lands of the Lord of the Rings as they, they're portrayed and the known world. And you see how it is very possible to live in the known world on hidden continents because Lemuria and Atlantis are still uh, good temperatures to live in. They're green, not like Hyperborea. And there's still lands here um, at the edges here and these islands here and then these lands here which might be where the germans are as well because you know they're close to south america so all these lands here and it's so simple simple because when you go to an airport or a harbor and you want to go somewhere there's like certain uh, flight paths and ship paths so you can't just uh, take a ship or a plane and go wherever you wherever you want and that's something that people don't understand because simply they don't study and they're lazy and probably they're also afraid because you know when you see the world like this um i guess people are more afraid of this than the spinning balls in space i know and maybe that's due to use this is a, a, a astonishing you know the real question is how many more lands because you see all this blue stuff here is ocean and water and the moon just shows a limited amount of land and oceans how many more oceans and more lands are beyond the limitations that we see on the moon so this is the universe right that's what nasa said um because they get nasa gives us certain bits of truth combined with 80 percent of lots of fantasy but they said the the universe is a universe of oceans of water of course because you go in a straight line you have lots of water and then you have lots of lands and other contents and more water but this would be um the unfrozen bit thanks to we're now in i think we're now in the pieces uh age um and every two thousand years the the magnetic shift happens and bits and pieces of the of the limitations of the borders they get frozen and that's the thing with the resets don't think about a, a major reset like something that everything gets frozen because first of all the bits that get frozen are the bits from the outside so if you live for example in the middle of europe or asia or like america it's going to be a long time until you're going to get a full frozen or a full like um a re, a re scale super scale reset right yeah this is vibes of cosmos so we're going to go into more detail about this again the known world with atlantis and lemuria uh, where the germans might be from the second world war if you read the the books in german that's so amazing that's so many historical facts and also the censored documentaries or well, censored on the typical websites because the internet is full of them um and then pangea look at how many how much frozen continent and then the land of the lord of the rings who knows who maybe there's even like uh, legendary creatures here that the ones you see in dragon in Lord of the rings uh, there's even like a dragon flying here see dragon so it could be uh and yeah and there's like submarines i like the whole thing with submarines because the submarines the world is still monitored by german submarines uh, after the second world war um and uh, then this is the part, the part that might be the one that we know from Operation High Jump after the Second World War. Vibes of Cosmos is amazing. Again, lots of tanks. If it wasn't for Vibes of Cosmos, my head would be indoctrinated. I would still be lost. And I would sp still be indoctrinated by the classical flat earthers that don't want to escape the Gleason map. And of course, I would still be indoctrinated by many other facts that other uh, YouTubers and content creators are pushing out um, without any care for the reality of the real world. Uh, continents, ocean, everything. We're going to see more of this. So, thanks again, Vibes of Cosmos. Link down below. 